This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 110. 110. Today, I had something very, very important to do. I had a very, very important meeting. And I, and I didn't go. Oh, I got ready. Oh, I I got ready. Um I woke up extra early. I was really really tired. I set like 5 alarms, showered, got dressed, curled my hair. Got a nice professional outfit. Yeah, I even ordered, I even ordered the Uber and canceled the Uber and ordered another Uber and canceled that Uber. Oh my God, people are slamming doors in this house. Okay. That's a big pet peeve of mine, by the way. If we're ever roommates or whatever, please don't slam doors. I hate when people slam doors. Anyway, I don't know if you heard that, but my mom just slammed a door, I guess. Um, So, okay, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Hmm... I don't even re- I don't even question anymore why I'm not as successful as I want to be because I know why because I fucking know why and it's because of who you think you think it's my mom you think it's cuz of my dad how about my sister how about my 4th grade fucking math teacher how about me I'm the reason (laughs) I'm the fucking reason that I'm not successful yet and I am a perfect example of you can have all the fucking Potential in the fucking mother fruity world. And it don't mean a goddamn thing. If you don't fucking take action. If you don't follow through. Like, I'm just going to say it. I'm a master manifester. I can manifest anything that I want. Anything that I want. But then when I manifest it, sometimes I'm really scared. And what happened today was, and um, I can talk about it because it's been a really, really, really hard day for me. But awareness is the first step to change. And I am aware. I am aware of what needs to change and the things that I need to do differently. And for that, I'm grateful and proud of myself. But um, I was beating myself up really bad today because um, because I let myself down. And I'm really tired of that. But everything's okay. Um, yeah, uh, what happened today was that I have really bad really 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 bad anxiety it's really hard for me to be around people sometimes um when i'm not working okay so like let me know if you can relate to this um so i've been working my whole life basically and so for like the last 20 years more than 20 years because i've been working since 14 So all of my social skills are around work, okay?
okay? And I'm just being brutally honest here. Um, I know how to work with people. I know how to be a great coworker. I know how to be a great boss. I know how to be a fucking amazing employee. I know how to be in the work world. Um, but where I struggle really bad is um, being around people and not being at work. Um, like, unless I know you, like, I don't struggle being around people that I know for a long time and I love them and I trust them and I don't have to worry about, um, like impressing them or whatever. Oh my God. Okay, guys, I can't continue this podcast because there are doors being slammed in the house because I guess that means that she wants me to be quiet Um, because it's almost midnight and I am being very quiet, so I'm confused at that. Um, all right. So I will continue my podcast adventures when I am back home in Miami, but to end it real quick, um, I just want to say I cannot deal with this house. (laughs) I'm in my apartment in Brooklyn with my mom, guys. Can you even hear the door slamming? Maybe you can't even hear it. Um, And basically, I gotta go. Okay, I love you guys. Bye. I'll talk more about my anxiety and um, other exciting things in the next episode. Okay, bye.